Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and today we are back with another community zoo tour. And in this video, we are going to check out this Rainforest Domes Zoo 2.0 made by Soren. Thank you so much for sharing your zoo with us for a showcase on the channel. Really do appreciate it. And if you have a finished zoo you would like to see me check out as well on the channel, then please do make sure to read the description of this video of how you could send me your finished zoo. Zoo. And who knows, I might be able to check out your finished zoo as well on the channel in the future. Now, without further talking, let's go and jump into this rainforest dome zoo made by Soren because I cannot wait to see what is inside of these domes. But I'm already like super impressed with like the edges right over here. And uh, hello, like this whole parking lot right over here looks absolutely insane and the feeling that there are like row houses here and stuff ah oh, man okay this this promises to be extremely good just look at the roofs here and all the details onto the roof oh man okay <laughs> i'm really excited for this one because the screenshots on steam already did show a fantastic build right over here so this is definitely going to be good Look at these really cool signs. Oh, I love that. This definitely gives like the your own style to this. Oh my goodness, did you build this? <gasps> the tropical domes. Look at that awesome logo of the zoo name. Oh, this is so cool. Cool. This is this is gonna be so good. Oh my gosh, you have prizes here for the tickets. Look at these beautiful ticket booths. That looks amazing. Oh, wow. And here the same. Oh, these folders right over here. I love that. The little details. This looks beautiful. Oh, wow. Look at the Siamangs right over here. What? Oh, man. Just look at the roof. This is insane. Aquarium? You kidding me? There is an aquarium in here? How are we going to... Oh my goodness. Okay, no. I'm gonna go for the left side right now. I don't know why. I just feel like I should go to the, to the left side. Africa and Asia. And you have all these signs. I love all the green here with these vines. That looks so nice. All these billboards here use as well to, to decorate the, the hallway, I should call it probably. All right, okay, let's go down and let's go through. <gasps> Whoa, this is insane. Look at the floor and all the details, the cracks and, and, and dirt on it, some rocks sticking out. What? This is beautiful. Look at this lemur habitat. Look how the plants are like integrated in these, these cherry blossom trees. It's gorgeous. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Standing in the way of all these guests. Oh, wow. I love how, how you decorated this all with all these tropical plants. It's so well done. absolutely gorgeous i even i'm impressed by the roof like i know it's super hard because everything is overlapping so these are just normal is this normal glass yes it is normal glass because you can look through it so it's not like um i don't know op op opaque op <laughs> i just forgot the name of the word of the the glass but i was just curious it's so well made. Look at these. This this is like a combination of oh gosh, okay. Is this going to be this is going to be a long zoo tour if I'm going to do this, but like these are the 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 climbable sticks combined with these vines. My goodness, how much work has gone into this. Uh what is this? The bat cave. Oh my goodness, you kidding? Wow, look at that. Oh, that's gorgeous. 
I did reduce a little bit of the amount of animals in here or like in, in the whole zoo just to make sure that FPS would go up a little bit more because with so many details and especially with like these big round uh, dome roofs, it can ask a lot of your FPS, but I love your rock work in here. Also really like how you integrated this little bat house and this little sign right over here. This looks fantastic. Oh my goodness. Oh gosh. Okay, can we... Ooh, wait, is there a path right over here? <gasps> Look how cool! Oh my goodness, it's actually almost... I don't know. That was probably a coincidence. <laughs> we just jumped over some rocks here. <gasps> this is fantastic. I absolutely love what you did here. Like how you integrated the water and the waterfall inside of the path right over here. What? I've never seen anything like this in Planet Zoo. This is so good. Oh, wow. I actually have the feeling that I'm really walking through a zoo. I think this is the most realistic thing I've ever seen. It's like perfect from every angle, every detail you paid such close attention to. This is, this is just, oh. how is it possible that like every time you think you've seen the best you ever made in Planet Zoo, you see another creation and you're like, what? you kidding me? Did you really just do this? Oh my goodness. This is extremely good. Is this inspired by any real life zoo maybe? Like, I, I like if not, if you, then, then you must be like, a, a designer or, or someone that just knows a lot about zoos and and how it's put together or you took like tons of real life inspiration this is this is insane i can't get over it and i have not even seen one percent of the zoo and i'm i'm like seeing this all being absolutely amazed what just look at everything, like the rock work and the foliage work is out of this world. You guys, please, please already go to the Steam Workshop page with the link in the description of this video and just like, leave, leave, a, leave a reward if you can. I will definitely do that. I mean, this, this is so freaking insane. And so beautiful. Oh, look, you have a tortoise habitat right over here. A walkthrough tortoise habitat. Look at the floor. Wait, I, I need to know. Mud wall panel. And then add it with the decals or decals added to it. Are you kidding me? Yeah, she is also very excited and happy about it. <laughs> Did you really just hide that in here? What? I'm blown away. Like, how did you even do this? These are reasons why you should download the zoo, go in and try to figure out how everything is made, how natural boundaries are made. Because this is so freaking inspiring. I just really, I think this is the first time, like I've seen many realistic zoos, but I think this one has that extra touch to it. Really giving me the feeling that I'm really walking through a real life zoo. And I don't know what it is. It might have something to do with the scale as well. 
Because I think you really nailed it. Oh my goodness. Like, I've always wanted to build something like that, like this. And now I feel like I should not even do it because this is just so freaking amazing. Another tortoise right over here. This is so exceptionally good. Wow. This is just picture perfect, isn't it? It's just such a breathtaking scene with like the red colors in here as well and everywhere the green lush plants. I wonder if you're stuck. You were moving a little bit weird. My goodness that you can achieve something like this. Look at this. Oh man, if only you were able to really walk on these, these bridges. That would be so fantastic. Holy cow. It's also like these via vaxes with, I don't know how to call it, dandelions or something. That also definitely gives like that just extra touch. Man, I can just walk around here forever, you guys. And just check out everything 10 times and I'm still not over it. How extremely and amazingly good this all is. All these trunk, uh, tree trunks here with leaves on top of it. Oh my goodness. The red river hog and bungos. Baby bungos are here. Well, I don't know if there are babies in here. I did make sure to give all the animals contraceptives just in case. Look how gorgeous this looks. What? What is this? This is just so freaking amazing. I really can't get over this. Oh my goodness, I just, I, I want to walk around in the zoo forever. Because every time you see a little corner and something new, I love this as well, by the way, the details. And then this little staircase. Is this going to like these, these bridges on the higher level? I think it is. <gasps> Oh, isn't this fantastic? Everything is just perfect. Like you want to look everywhere because you're not going to miss out on any beautiful detail. Oh, it's going into, uh, I hope it's going into a circle. Look at this. Oh my gosh, this is the best thing I've ever experienced in Planet Zoo. I can't get over this. I'm I'm with my mouth open the, the whole time and a smile on my face being like, what? Ridiculous. I'm so sorry if I go to slow for some people, but I really feel like I don't want to miss out on anything. This is so beautiful. How did you, it just, it's just, it constantly loops in my head. How, how did you do this? How much work was this? How did you get the inspiration? Just how? Uh, do you guys have any other questions popping up in your head seeing this all? <laughs> let me know in the comments down below. And let me know if you're as mind blown as I am. Every... Every angle is just freaking perfect. Everything. This is, this is the best thing I've ever, ever, ever seen in Planet Zoo. This is going to be my number one zoo ever. I mean, <sighs> I, and this is only the first dome, you guys. We have not even seen the rest. If this is, this is the quality of all the domes, the realism, the beauty, the tropical vibe. I, I'll, I should better just stop my channel now. <laughs> what? 
Oh man, this is so freaking good. Okay, oh, 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 lag, lag. 11 FPS it was for just a second, but we're back at 23. Enjoying all the beauty right over here. There's tortoises rocking around. And it's beautiful. Tropical dome. Oh my goodness. I love it that you have this, this extra walkway to enjoy. And especially for kids. I mean, kids love this. To walk around on all these little bridges and enjoy the zoo from every angle. Okay, we're gonna go down. Yes, we, we just went in a circle, right? So we can just go down here. Oh, 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 not too fast. We don't want to get nauseous. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, wait, was this the... Wait, what is this? Yes, this... No, this is not Bat's Cave. What is this? This is an Ardfog Nocturnal House. Holy cow! Look at this! Oh, I love how you integrated these, these Twilight Roots. I've not used them yet myself, and it works super well. Oh, it gives such a crazy touch to these rock formations. I absolutely love it. The rock work is insane. Wow. It looks so good, like the lighting and stuff. I think that's also definitely one of the things you really pay the close attention to, to add lighting in here. Because let's face it, we are inside of a building. So there is light coming through. But it's like super subtle for some reason. It, oh man, I can't get over it. I, I, I want this zoo to be real. I just need it. <laughs> I need it to visit it in real life. Never said that before. Like this is a diorama hall. It's just insane. Where is that path leading to? Oh my goodness. Okay, we are, we are going to have issues here for missing out look at this how did you even do this i mean is this a coincidence like it's just sometimes there and sometimes it's not right that is so cool man the creativity in here it's ridiculous i just really like how you integrated these exhibits with these rock formations it's it's insane. A temple, snake temple, Asia. What is this? Oh, tarantula. No, 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 no. Let's <laughs> not squiggly go. Okay. The snake temple. What? Oh my goodness, FPS. Wow. The lighting in here. The amount of details, what? Holy cow. I just don't even know what kind of screenshot or thumbnail to make for this video because there, there is just so much incredible stuff to see here that I don't even know how to convince you guys while well, you guys are watching, but how to convince other people to check out this incredible work and be inspired, but also discouraged. Even I get a little bit discouraged now. Like I got a lot of comments a lot of times being like, yeah, well, I I'm not, I'm never gonna be that good. And I'm like, well, you know, practice makes perfect. With time and a lot of practice, you will be able to do this. <sighs> You will be able to do this too, but even I, like, you can see my first series on the channel comparing it to, uh, let's say, for example, African Mini Zoo. You can tell how much I improved, but even this, this just, just blows my mind 
so much. Um, I'm not sure if I'm able to ever do this. I probably will if I would spend like a week or more on one habitat. I mean, jeez. This is so insane. I have never seen anything like this. Like, I really had no idea you could achieve this in Planet Zoo. Look at this. Cymanx. No, these are Gibbons. Wait, are there Cymanx and Gibbons? This is a Gibbon. That's a Cymanx. Okay, so they're combined. <laughs> Just making sure. Holy cow. I am... Uh, okay, Asia. Is this a different dome? It might be. It might be, yes. My goodness. I, Soren, 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 you really must tell us your secrets. Tell us how long this took you. Tell us what was the biggest inspiration to do this. Was there any zoo... Or, or zoo dome that made you build this or was it like a recreation or tell us everything I really I really would love to know it's insane it's so impressive still have not seen him hanging on their tails I, I keep saying it until I do <laughs> What is it? Oh, wait, those are the Binturangs able to use this then, I guess. That is really cool. Like, I would almost forget, but there are like tons of habitats just like this Binturang habitat that doesn't have any fences. Like, it's, it's so nicely built that you don't even see natural boundaries, natural fences, etc. Now, it can be that because it's sandbox mode, you can just turn off uh, escapes. So maybe that is just how the zoo is made. But if not, I want to know the secrets. <laughs> this is so beautiful. Man, I wish I had my camera with me. I could just make tons of pictures here. Look how gorgeous. Oh my gosh, wait, wait, wait. This is butterflies. Are there are butterflies here? There are butterflies here. I don't see them really flying, do, do we? Doesn't look like it, actually. There are pea fowls walking around here. There's a sign here of the proboscis monkey. But I don't really see them. I did not for this zoo. Turn off. Look how gorgeous this is integrated. I did not turn off uh, all the, the climbing frames because I, I was feeling like, you know what, that might go wrong or might just not give like the best experience. But so far, I still have not seen any animal climb. So I'm not sure. Maybe you did turn it off without, without me checking it. Look at this. Look at the, the feeding plate here onto the rocks. Gosh, I just can't stop looking at everything. It's just so beautiful. I love this these rocks here as well, by the way. And this, that is this is raised. I actually didn't notice it at first. This is all raised. My goodness. Excellent work. Wow. Oh, I love it that they're actually looking the right way now. Like sometimes you see them look and then it's like completely off, but it's all working perfectly so far. My goodness. I can imagine, I do, do really hope that's not feeling super annoying, but because it's all pretty tiny and built close together, I'm just constantly just pressing a little bit further away, but I really hope it's not too annoying or anything like that. Just look at this. Oh. It's 
so beautifully made. Oh man, it it's so insanely good. I love the fence here with the stone walls. Oh, look at this underwater viewing. We almost missed it. It's gorgeous. I love it that you use these wooden planks here. That works super well. What a beautiful underwater viewing gallery with all these surroundings. Oh, man. It's just perfect. And I have not seen any spot yet that is less detailed or, or got less attention. Just look at this. Then the first part that we saw, like everything is thought of. Everything is freaking perfect. Just look at the lighting in here. Look at the details in here. It's just so well made. Like the whole vibe, all the leaves on the floor. The lighting inside of this habitat. I really still can't believe this is Planet Zoo that we're looking at. What? Just do you guys see what I see? The whole vibe of this temple. It's ridiculous and I want to know exactly how you achieved this. I'm so speechless about how insanely good this is looking. I really have never seen anything like this before. Look, we have an Asian small clot utter underwater viewing gallery. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, that works so well. Also really love how you, you set this up with like this, this lower area. Like obviously these these chair uh chair <laughs> these staircases don't work. Like don't work as in these steps. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You really because you are not paying I can't get over this. Because you're not paying attention to that, it does look a lot more realistic the the total vibe of this 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 whole dome. It was absolutely amazing. Love how you integrated the statue in here as well. Look at this, how beautiful. Love this peek through in here. All these tropical plants. Like the dedication of how to put them all down. You really did not put things down randomly. You really thought of everything and it shows how what an incredible build you can create. Paying close attention to each and everything that you put down. I'm so impressed by it all. Really amazing. All right, let's see. The OD is probably just Simangs. Yeah, Simangs and the Gibbons. All these vines here, they look so fantastic. Love the fencing here as well, by the way. Oh, this, I want to know, how did you do that? Oh, these are the uh, market stands. Yes, European cast iron and mesh fence panel. Oh, wow. I would never have thought of, of doing it like that, but that creates an incredible new fence. I love it. Oh, it's a cassowary. How beautiful this is. Just look at this. Just look at this. The lighting, all the tropical foliage. It's gorgeous. Absolutely amazing. All right, where are we going? I see guests coming. Wait, guests are coming out of here. What is there? What? Wait, what? And they actually go back. Oh, it might it, it might need some. Um, oh, maybe it's. Oh, it might be a staff path as well. But could use some 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 curbs or barriers. But they're probably not working. <laughs> probably that's why. Wait, you have actual birds here? Oh well, I 
think they are supposed to be birds, maybe, but there are bats, obviously. But since you already have a dedicated bat cave, I think you are trying... Maybe, well, I don't know, maybe to achieve that there are birds here instead of actual bats, but <laughs> nonetheless, it's a really cool way. Look at all these little baskets here. It's adorable. And it's so nicely made. My goodness, just look at this. A little exit here. The Leopard Temple. Oh my goodness. Ugh, if this is just like the other temple, it's gonna blow us away. Look how gorgeous. Wow. It's stunning and it's so well made. Just look how all these temple pieces are put together. It's so gorgeous. Really such a fantastic tropical vibe. We have some exhibits on the other side. Wow. Sailing fence here. You see them not behind the glass. I'm so impressed by how you use these temple pieces. It looks so fantastic. Look at the lighting coming out of the roof here. And then the chain link fence is right over here. What do we have? Koalas. Oh, that was unexpected. I, I was thinking that we were still in Asia. So <laughs> we did not expect to see koalas in here. That's a beautiful habitat. What do we have on this side? The platypus. So this is a little Australian area, which I probably missed out on this. Oh yeah, okay, sign, Australia. <laughs> Welcome to Australia. Oh my goodness, look at this. I love the green vibe you have going on here. It works so well. That. Oh, they're so cute, aren't they? Oh, I love this underwater viewing gallery. Look at the waterfalls in the back. It's freaking gorgeous. I think this is what I tried to achieve as well with my um, platypus habitat in Kuali Zoo, but can tell you absolutely nailed it. <laughs> you did such a fantastic job on everything in this zoo. I, I'm just constantly going to say that because it's just so freaking amazing. <gasps> How? Oh my goodness! Those are like these these log beams. What a brilliant idea! Oh my goodness, I love that. Oh, I never thought of that. Why not? It's such a simple idea and it looks so freaking good. Love this restaurant area. Oh no, wait, no, no, no. No, don't tell me that we've we've walked through all of them. Did we really? We we can still go on the outside here, guys, but I just want to make sure. Wait, have we been here? We have not been here. Have we? What? Wait, is this is this the African area? It doesn't look like it. We have not seen the whole dome. Okay. Okay, I, th I think we're just gonna follow this because, oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> like for the first time ever, like I sometimes was like, oh no, I don't want it to stop. But now I really, really, really don't want it to stop because this is just so freaking good. Like I really wish this was a real life zoo. I travel in time, I travel in time. Okay, wait, what? What do we have here? So we, uh, is this a dingo? Or no, this is the rat fox, isn't it? Look how beautiful this is. I love all the rocks here in the pond and next to it. It looks so gorgeous. Look! Oh, that is so cool. It's a little tent. That's beautiful. So where do we go? This is a dead end. 
Oh man, this is looking so realistic. What is this? The Twilight Porculus Metal. Oh, you created your. Oh, wow. Oh, you really got like this, this rusted feeling from these planks. Gosh, it looks fantastic. I love like the grass and how lush this habitat is with a little uh, sandy, uh, sandy path in between. Looks gorgeous. Look how cool. Oh man, this is fantastic. A little exhibit. Just pretend that we're not seeing that staff member sticking halfway through. <laughs> Where do we go? I think we should go through here. Look how beautiful this looks. It really does show like I've saw I, I saw a picture on Twitter the other day. I totally forgot who made it. Um and it it just I shared I think I shared it as well on, on my Twitter. Um it was like so realistic like it almost felt like a real picture and it really does show like the more you add buffalo grass buffalo grass buffalo grass blah, 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 so much buffalo grass the more you add the more realistic it, it it somehow feels i really do feel that way the more stuff you add through it look at the beautiful flowers here by the way do we <sighs> I don't think I've ever used these. Gosh, they're so beautiful. I need to, wait, how are they called? The Big Bluesome Grass Medium, North North America Grasslands. Oh, maybe that's why I barely see them because they're North America and I've barely made any habitats for North American animals recently. Look how cute, the little playground. With these tree trunk uh, uh, tunnels for kids to walk through. Oh, this hyena habitat. A little shelter building on the outside. Oh, common wombat habitat. These patches, I need to find them. <laughs> I think they're in, in a simple mod you can download, but it works so well with decorating habitats. What a cute common walnut habitat this is. Oh, you can even go here. Look at this. You really got out of your way to create these awesome things that you would see in real life zoos, but I've just barely seen anyone building them. But you are just doing it. You are really using all these, uh, all these things from real life zoos. And just build them in Planet Zoo because you can. Gosh, just look at that. Viewing onto these domes. It's insane. Wait, how do we get up? From there. So we came from the other side. So this is the spot hyena little shelter building. And what is on the other side then? Oh, it's a bit complicated. For some reason, it doesn't feel like a super smooth route, so could use some signs, maybe? However, it's super tiny, so I, I doubt you will really miss out on anything, but we did miss out on these animals. You have a North American beaver here, look! Oh, that's so adorable. Oh, I love this little view in gallery. That is looking so nice. Why are they not deep diving? Stupid. Go deep dive. Mm, they're not doing it. Oh, this is looking so nice. Okay, so I think we have seen this area now of the outside. Cute signs here. And what do we have? We have another tent. What do we have here on the right side? There is a big burrow. Oh, what is it for? Look at this. The laundry. Oh, that's so cute. 
We have the Eurasian lynx on that. Oh, we can actually see them pretty up close. European badger is on this side. Oh, look, you can see them walking here. So adorable. But like, the more you add, the more lush it becomes, the more realistic it becomes. I, <laughs> I always thought that I already used way too much foliage. No, no, no. If you want to go realistic, and really more of the overgrown feeling, you need to add more. <laughs> Definitely looks super amazing. Man, they are so beautiful, aren't they? And what do we have on that side? Because we don't want to miss out. You are not allowed to go into the tent. What is this? Reindeer, follow deer, and a red deer. Oh, look at them. Oh, these are so beautiful animals. Can we see them better here? Yes. Look how beautiful this looks. Really gorgeously done with the foliage. Oh, 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 we cannot go out here. Oh, 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 are we going inside of the dome soon? I think so. Are there butterflies here? I don't see it. Oh, there is an integration. There we go. Here you can see the little butterfly house in here as well. Wow, you did it. You really did a great job here because I could barely notice it. It's been due to the sign here. Else I probably would have just continued walking here, but I like that. I like how well you integrated this in, in the overall nature around here. Really great job. Oh, there's more here. It's weird that I have not seen any butterfly fly. Where are they? Why is that not working? Is that bugged since, since the latest patch? Oh, they're... Yes, there are butterflies. It's weird because I've normally always seen butterflies fly and the bats do seem to fly. I do think that's that's a bug because it, it doesn't feel right. We have llamas. Oh look at that. You can you can just go in here in a little petting zoo. Look at this one. Oh there are two laying inside of each other. Alright. That's the best thing to do. Wait, how? Oh, we can go up here? What is this? Little seating area? We can go inside here. And... What? Oh, look. Uh, wait, what are you again? The maned wolf. That's cool. I've never built a habitat for them yet. They're really beautiful. Hmm. I love the flowers in here. It's so gorgeous. Okay, but where do we go? There is a habitat here as well. Where do we go to the to the dome? Let's look how cool this looks. Lovely water stream. This is a really nice like educational cabin. And viewing gallery as well. Looking very good. I think I hear a jaguar. Oh, there you are. Look how gorgeous this looks. With all the grass and flowers around it. Oh man, I'm in love with your foliage work. It's really beautiful. Oh, you kidding? You even have an underwater viewing gallery for the jaguars? I feel like we're so lucky with so many animals uh, swimming around. Like, we have not seen the beavers deep dive or the jaguars deep dive, but they can. At least there's one, was one in the water for just a second. And I love it that you paid attention to that. Oh, wait, this is a dead end. Ah, oh, that's a pity. Okay, so we can't go inside of the dome here, but it's really nicely added here. And also, like, notice the netting and the chain link fences on this side work super well. Okay, so we go back. 
Oh, lag. Yes, we're going back to the domes. Oh, yes, we go here to the left side. So you have this where our guests can sit down, relax, and enjoy a meal. And then we go here. This seems like, ooh, what did I just do? Seems like more of like a hallway. Notice all these towels on the floor. That looks amazing. A little educational area. Could be also that they're selling plushies and stuff, but it's closed right now. Some lockers here. Are you kidding me? This is close to the entrance. It does feel like it. Yes, this is close to the entrance. So that means that we still have the right dome. <gasps> and the aquarium. Oh my goodness. How? Wait. Okay, oh, well, we have a little gift shop right over here. It's empty. <laughs> it's sold out. There's just barely anything left. You have some drums right over here, which you would guess can buy. Or some hats. South America Aquarium. I can't choose. Where shall we go first? And okay, let's go to South America. Yeah, we definitely have not been here. So gorgeous here as well. I love it that you added the V of X's with the bird sounds because that def- Oh, look. It definitely gives like that little extra touch that you- of, of audio that you always hear inside of these domes. Even though there are no actual birds, you would definitely assume that there are birds walking- uh, walking around. I see this monkey walking around. But there, there are definitely birds flying around in the zoo. Even though they're not, but... Uh. Ugh, give me birds. <gasps> Little Malaysian tapir habitat. Look how adorable. I don't know what it is. Like, the floor with these leaf patches. Like, you don't even need to add anything else. Or, or do you? Did you, like, add rocks or stuff? It feels like only mud with leaf patches. And it just gives such an extremely good vibe to an empty piece of land, you know what I mean? We even have a little water section right over here and water section right over there. Gosh, it's gorgeous. And on this side you have the giant anteater. You see what I mean with those leaves? It's so simple, but it looks so extremely good. All these waterfalls here in the back look so beautiful. Also love how you like added these 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 beams or like vines and then made it as the edge of the chain link fences. Oh man, it's so so inspiring. I really don't want the zoo to stop, especially these indoor domes are ridiculously good. Okay, wait, where do we go? Okay, this way. Puchin monkey. Oh, you even have sloths integrated in here. This is so smart. The best spot for it is in inside of a tropical dome. Definitely. Hello. Are you happy in here? <laughs> <laughs> Big smile on his face. Non is basking here. And there's one right over there. Did they change anything of them? Mm. No, not sure. <laughs> Beautiful waterfall here. Oh, what, what is that building then on the right side? Look, we have some clothes here as well hanging to dry. It's just a little tiny detail, but it looks so good. Love the waterfalls. What is that building? It's like a viewing gallery, or maybe like a restaurant, or looks like more of a viewing gallery. There are some oh, raccoons here. There are exhibits integrated here. Oh, look at look at this. You can yeah, you can tell that it's two different ones. Are we lucky or not? Yeah, okay. These guys are so big. Can barely miss out on them. There's another one right on top here. They are so beautiful, these iguanas. Amazing. 
So do we have, yes, we have the Antillian Iguana and the Green Iguana. Ah, there we go. Really beautiful. I really wish there were habitat animals. I think, if I'm correct, but correct me if I'm wrong, these iguanas, you, you can download a mod that you can create an iguana habitat for these guys. Gosh, where do we go? This is a raccoon habitat. Look how cool it looks. With all the, the rubbish and the, and the, 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 what is it? Boxes, crates. <laughs> really cool habitats. Those are the iguanas. And there's some rubbish right over here. Cool. Love that. Okay, now we go down. Look at this. <gasps> Look how cool that looks. Seeing those. Oh, wait, which one is this? The American alligator. That you see the American alligator just swim here looks absolutely fantastic. And then all these rock formations and like these temple pieces here. Look how amazing this looks. It's so good. Capybara spring, uh, hot, spa, hot spa spring, whatever. <laughs> Look how cool. Oh my goodness, have you guys seen? It's just a random thought here. Have you guys seen that YouTube channel with like capybaras in the wild? It, I, I have no idea where it exactly is. But this guy just goes over these capybaras and then just scratches them and like like is patting them on their heads and, and or on their bellies and they are so much enjoying it. Gosh, it's so cool. Do let me know in the comments down below if you've seen it and else you need to look it up. Like. Once you've clicked one video, then you will constantly see these type of videos. It's so funny. And they're so, so cool. I've, uh, yeah, they're just such cool animals. Love this viewing gallery here as well. What do we have here? Oh, is this the American alligator habitat? Yes. Gosh, it's so well made. Even thought of like the netting right over here that potentially I think that's why because these guys can obviously not climb super far but it's potentially for all the other animals right uh, like birds or small monkeys and stuff that they're not going to the American alligators because then it's a uh, meal time for them. <laughs> oh look at this caiman habitat, caiman underwater viewing gallery, really nicely made. Beautiful waterfall on this side. These fences here also look so extremely good. Oh man, what a fantastic zoo. Tell me if this is in real life. I want to visit it. <laughs> I want to visit this so badly. It is so beautiful. Also, like these decals. These are like the mossy decals. I think on the floor of of the water here. Can we just check that? Yes, surface decal moss. Wow, never would have thought using them like this. Just a second. Ooh. Oh wow. This is absolutely fantastic. How much fun am I having in this zoo is insane. But also like all the animals are pretty up close. It just works all so well and so nicely. What is this? The armadillo, right? Look how beautiful with the red light here for the heat lamp. Oh, what is that? Oh, look! Another underwater view. Oh man, this is so cool. This works so well. I'm so much going to use this for many of my zoos, but then with like the, the, the real wood, the, the new wooden planks that we got. 
gosh, it looks so amazing. What is this building? There's a jaguar? Oh! Oh, I thought for a second people could sit down here, but it's not. It's like a, a barn or something where a jaguar lives. What a cool idea for a little indoor shelter for these guys. Just look at the beams and stuff here. Oh wow, this is so amazing. All right, let's go here. We have a little Jeep. There's a tortoise walking around here. Butterflies. They're just not flying. What's going on with these butterflies? I'm so annoyed. Oh, there's a butterfly. I was about to say, like, I was so annoyed. I'm so annoyed in general when things stop working, like the Japanese macaque not being able to use the hot strings anymore. It should be fixed by now, but it took such a long time. I like the binturong not hanging on its tail. <laughs> Sorry, I'm probably annoying people with saying that constantly, but I'm annoyed by the fact that it's just not working properly. Man, this is all looking so freaking good. What? Oh wait, is this the aquarium? <gasps> I think it is. Wow. You guys seeing this? Holy cow. This is looking insane. What? How? What? This is so beautiful. Man, why don't we have aquariums in the game? It's so frustrating because... Oh, you can tell how many ridiculously good things you can do to decorate an aquarium. Really frustrates me. And there are people out there, and no offense, but there are people out there that are like, Oh, I want to have a planet aquarium. But you know, I don't. I really don't because... I love to make underwater viewing galleries. I would love to make these aquariums. But if I would constantly making all these aquariums, I would be bored very quickly. It's the beauty of Planet Zoo to be able to have this diversity and variation in the things that you do. So one day you're building a, a hooved animal habitat and then you're making a climbing animal habitat and then you're making aquariums or then you're making aviaries i i would not want a planet aquarium i will be bored so much i would definitely not be able to enjoy a zoo like that or or a game like that for four years like i'm doing with planet zoo or that i'm doing with planet coaster but i'm curious to hear your guys your opinions uh, about that in the comments down below but that is really one of the reasons why i just really don't want to have an aquarium game from planet zoo because i really would love to have that variation in the type of animals and the things that we do so rather not see a planet zoo uh, or planet aquarium or like a planet aviaries no not gonna happen either but yeah i just really hope but that will, <laughs> but I just really hope aquariums and, and flying birds will be added still to Planet Zoo. But if not, then hopefully in Planet Zoo 2 and not separate games. Anyways, enough talking about that. Soren, Soren, Soren. I, I'm going to say it. This was the best zoo I have ever seen in Planet Zoo. Not one of the. You are going to be my top on the top of my ranking because this was absolutely insane. The amount of details, the beauty, the lighting, everything inside of these domes was just absolutely perfect. The scale was perfect. The amount of the, the, the rock work, the temples, oh man, I just can't go on. This was by far the best thing I have ever seen and I thank you very very much for sharing this with us i really would not have not want to have missed out on this one do i say that correctly <laughs> 
Thank you so much. Really, everyone, guys, please leave a like at this video if you guys enjoyed this. Because the more likes and the more comments, the more this video will be recommended to other people to enjoy the beauty of these rainforest dome zoo. I I really am I'm speechless still. This did, I'm going to revisit this one as much as I can. Also, please go to the Steam Workshop page. Leave that like there. If you have rewards to give, do it. I will do it as well. I think Soren definitely deserves it for this masterpiece. And let me know in the comments down below what's your most favorite part of this zoo. I, I really absolutely loved this one thank you all so much for watching and i really do hope to see you guys all in the next one bye guys